This is the discussion of the direct delta function of x square minus a square. I have uh, defined a new variable y where x square minus a square is equal to y. And delta y of d of y is 1. This is just the definition. Now, del delta y dx from minus infinity to infinity, that's what we are going to try to figure out. There's a relationship between uh, y and x, and based on that, we can determine the relationship between dx and dy, and there, um, uh, for differential of this, this is 2x dx, that's dy, so dx is equal to dy over 2x. And here, I have just uh, rewritten this, where I have changed the dx to dy over 2x. y is equal to 0 for x equal to minus a and x equal to a. Delta y can be replaced by the sum of two sharply peaked functions. So that can be represented as delta of x plus a, delta of x minus a. Limits of integration in terms of y are 0 minus to 0 plus because delta y is 0 everywhere and sharply peaked at y equal to 0. The same way limits of integration in terms of x are from minus a minus to minus a little bit to the right and for x minus a x plus delta of x plus a they go from a minus to a plus for uh, delta x minus a and this is I just re-expanded this function here and wrote it like that and then expanded this further to write it like that. And now what we are going to do we are going to evaluate this function here. And delta of x plus a is 0 everywhere except at x equal to minus e, minus a. The limits of integration in terms of x are at minus a little bit less than that and at minus a little bit more than that. That's a, this is, suppose x is equal to 10 and I have uh, graphically shown that and this is minus a minus, so this is minus 10.1 and minus a plus and that's minus 9.9. .9. So if we evaluate x square minus a square at minus 10.1, it's going to be a little bit more than zero because 10 point, minus 10.1 square minus 10 square is a um, positive number. And here on the right side, this will be a little bit less than zero because minus 9.9 .9 square minus 10 square, that's less than zero. So what happened, the consequences of that is that uh, these limits of integration are from uh, little very small 
positive number to a very small negative number. What we like to do is have the limits from uh, negative to the positive and so we reverse that in the process that we have to change the signs. Uh, so this becomes a negative and this one we we can write it like this. So this becomes the final value of that 1 divided by 2a that can be written as 1 divided by 2 absolute value of x at x equal to minus a. Now for x equal to minus a it stays minus small number to plus small number limits of integration so we don't have to change anything and then when we change um, these uh, integration limit uh, to x we have to change dy to dx so this becomes 1 over 2 absolute value of x evaluated a so here so what we have established is the delta of x square minus a square is equal to 1 divided by 2 absolute value of x delta of x plus a delta of x minus a and there is a general expression and if you have delta delta of phi of x that can be represented as sum of j equal to 1 to n 1 divided by absolute value of derivative of x and then sum of delta x minus xj and and xj are the values of x where this uh, phi of x becomes zero.